So by default, when you work around with mural, then you can go around over here, add in some objects like uh, sticky notes right here. As you can see, you can go around and add in, let's say, for example, some icons as you wish. Uh, so you can bring in some icons over here as well. So everything over here is random at the moment right here. But if you want it to be more organized and if you want it to be limited in a space, then you might want to work around with an area. And to add an area in Mural, you should right click on an empty uh, section and then click on add area right here. So once you do that here, you can see the area. And let me just go around and type this in as q to two area right here. So this is what you have. So in the area, you can right click, add in sticky notes right here, and everything will be in this particular area right now. So I'm going to go around, add in, let's say, for example, title right here. I'm going to go around and add in, let's say, for example, another sticky note right here, just like this, and bring in something like an icon and keep it right here. So this is an area, and if I were to, let's say, for example, move this area, you can see that everything uh, within that area moves out. You can resize out the area right here, just like this, according to how you like, and move this wherever you like right here. You can go around and bring this, let's say, for example, uh, uh, some, uh, let's say, for example, icons and so forth as well. If you were to go around and click on the area, on the top, you have uh, another option as well. So you can go around and toggle out the title on and off over here on the area, and you can go around and set up different things. You can increase and decrease the title size right here. You can change the color of the area as well, the background color, and you can go around and choose, let's say, for example, an outline over here and the outline type right here as well, and make it, let's say, for example, something like this as well. You can go around onto the right side and you can also go around and switch this to grid, but here it says you cannot switch to grid because this layout does not support arrows right here icons and nested areas. So let me just go around and delete off these things right here. So once I do that, I can go around and turn this into a grid layout as well. So on the grid la layout, what happens is that everything becomes organized right here. So you can add in sticky notes as you can see right here. You can even resize this and everything gets arranged out in a proper grid if you were to turn this out. You can go around and uh, let's say, for example, uh, click around these things right here and you can see that you can again make it random right here, just like this. You can go around or, or click on grid layout again to arrange it out automatically. Again, you can see that as I arrange it out on a grid, everything becomes uh, well managed just like this. So you can go around right here, resize this out and everything manages out according to the grid. And if I were to click and drag this out, you can see that um, you can just go, uh, go and click and drag this out right here. And then that is what you have. You have uh, everything outside of the work area and you can also drag everything inside and it gets arranged out in a grid as long as you go around and click over here on the grid section right here. So that is how you can add and work in an area inside of Mural. So hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe.